Hey, what's up, friends? It's time once again for the quick tip of the day where we get you in, we get you out, and we get you on with your life. So today we're going to be talking about the fade edit, the option in Photoshop that allows you to fade from 100 down to 0%. Uh, pretty much anything in the retouching uh, department, so your uh, Band-Aid tools and your clone tools, and uh, your burn dodge tools uh, up here into your uh, paintbrush tools, it all applies. So we have a beautiful image of Danielle here. Danielle has a gorgeous little uh, you know, beauty mark, but we're going to go ahead and retouch that out for uh, demonstration purposes. So I'm going to grab my spot healing brush over here, take it out just like that. Now under edit, we have fade spot healing brush. That will say, if you use another tool, it'll say fade and then the name of the tool. We can now take that all the way down as far as we want from 0 to 100. And I use this on all of my retouching, all the time. I very rarely ever let the tool just do its thing. I always adjust it. So I can click OK. And there it is. Just like that. The fade option. Now, if you're a shortcut junkie like me, you're going to want to do it just a little bit faster than having to go up to edit. So we'll go ahead and work through the process again and I'll do the keystrokes. So back up to the tool, retouch it out, press the control key, the shift key, and the letter F as in Frank. Brings up the fade tool once again, the fade option, and there you go. Now I've went ahead and created mine as an action. Mine is uh, F6 on my keyboard. Uh, if you're ever at my computer, you know where it's at. So there you go. That is the little known uh, fade uh, tool or little known fade uh, edit. Pretty slick. It only works in one step. So if you do multiple steps, uh, it won't go backwards. Uh, you can't uh, control Z to go back and then use the fade tool. It's immediately following the tool. Uh, that's when it works. So hope you found that useful. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.